Yeah, go on. Alright, day two of the blog. We're in, we're in Kansas now. Really warm and humid, it's awesome. Just about to go on a, a metabolism kickstart for a name run with Dan. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, we're gonna go for a run now, so along the river, which is down there, which is looking nice. Can't see it, mate, but yeah, just two people walking down. <laughs> so we've got, we've, got some, we've got some rocky style train tracks as well, like trains going down the street and shit, so hopefully we'll be able to jump on back one. Just finished our run, chilling by the river. It's done a steady four miles. Everything's pretty cool. It's very hot. I'm sweating like a bastard. All right, just got back from a run. Um, got got some kale, some garlic, spring onion, um, just bits of lettuce, bits of leaves, some some shredded almonds. A bit of watermelon, and that's for breakfast. We're kind of thinking about the banana, but maybe think it's pushing it. But this year, this is breakfast for me. With my fast metabolism. Okay. So yeah. Uh, on, on the way here, we heard like a lot of rumors, a lot of talks that the, the town we're staying in in Kansas is haunted. So on further research, Jay got on the the, the internet, had a look, and the place that we're staying is haunted, apparently by uh, monks, which is cool. Yeah. This is where we're staying, Benedictine College. This Benedictine College on Main Street. Haunted Atchison, Legends of America. Peaceful. Apparently, there's some monk who rifles through your closet and shit at night, so he's getting taken choked out. Apparently, he wears frosted flake t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Just a new addition to James's video blog, something else. Uh, Danny's now fighting Kendall Grove. How did yes. that come about, Dan? Uh, there were a last minute pull out and uh, I got offered the fight, so I thought, why not? What's the, what's the plan? The plan is throw bombs. <laughs> <laughs> throw some big bombs. The guy's six foot six. Uh, it, like, there's two kinds of people I would hate in this world. Southpaws, people who are taller than me. Luckily he's not a southpaw, but he has got a massive height advantage. So uh, I'm going to be throwing punches with anger. <laughs> so hopefully I can uh, put him away. He's a fellow black belt as well. So but I'm, I'm not going to see what happens. It's only nice to get involved. Got to get involved. Alright, we've ended up wound up in some sports bar. Couldn't wait, so it's, it's not that far. I'm not drinking, I'm not eating this. But, um, I've had a pretty good day. I'm, um, I'm, I'm well fed on memories. Like, today, um, I touched a tree which was grown from a seed that was taken to the moon and brought back. That's the highlight of the day for me today. We've been all over the place. We've been ghost hunting, we've been checking out uh, haunted houses. It's been a cool day. Hopefully I've lost some weight as well. So it's good. And how does it feel cutting weight and sat next to other fighters who were uh, sort of doing what they want? Yeah. Kind of, I really do want to eat, but I guess this is part of the test that comes with, with fighting nowadays. It's all good. Smile everyone, you're going to be on his video blog. Just uh, it's about half past eleven. Um, had a crazy day. Met so many nice people. Seen so many unusual things. Just trying to speed my metabolism. Get a quick burn before I go to bed. So hopefully I'll be like negative on calories before I sleep. And yeah, just preparing for Friday the weigh-in. It's 
is the hardest fight, the fight. <laughs> it's the hardest bit and the rest is cool. So